Hi, I'm Robin and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. Today I will show you how to import DICOM images into Mimix. Today we're going to give a brief introduction to Mimix that will help you get started with the software. This tutorial uses version 21, released in 2018. First, upload your raw images by starting a new project in the File menu. Select the map that contains all the images. You'll see a preview of the images and you can scroll through them. Some information about the images is also shown in the tabs. Click Open and then the images will be visible as a new Mimix project. You can see that there are three planar views visible. The Axial, the Coronal and the Sagittal planes. In the bottom right view is the 3D window, which will contain all of the 3D models we are going to create. On the right hand side of the software is our project manager, with several different tabs. The measurements we can make, the masks and the images. Underneath the project manager is a small toolbar with several functions to use for the masks. For example, calculate part, will calculate the 3D object from the mask. This object will then appear in the screen below. At the bottom of the screen is the logger. This keeps track of all the actions we perform. In the other tab, we can modulate the windowing of our images. This we can do by manually dragging one point to another point or by using a predefined set for CD scans. You can also change the brightness by right-clicking and dragging the point from left to right, or the contrast by right-clicking and dragging the point up and down. At the top of the screen, several tabs are visible, each with a different set of functions. The first tabs are the most frequently used. To clarify an image, there are some useful functions in the View tab. If we click on the magnifying glass, we can draw a box on the image and this region will then be enlarged. By using Fit to Screen, we can reduce the image back. The Full Screen option will enlarge the total image. This can be undone by right-clicking and deselecting the option Full Screen. You can also do this by clicking on your spacebar. Another option for zooming in on an image is to hold down the Ctrl key and right-click. Then move your mouse up and down. It's possible to navigate through the images with just one click. If you left-click anywhere on an image, the other two images will adjust to that location. To pan an image, you can use the pan button in the view tab or, if you work with the mouse with the scroll wheel, you can click the scroll wheel and drag your mouse around. To navigate through the images, you can use the slider on the right or you can scroll with your mouse. 